Hey there, welcome back. This is part 18 and also the final section of my WebDev IO tutorial series. If you'd like to check out my previous videos in this series, make sure to click on the card above or click on the link in the description below. So in this video, we will take a look at how to set up Jenkins in our local machine. So Jenkins is a popular open source continuous integration tool. So to put it simply, it helps you build, test and deploy your software projects. So Jenkins can also be easily extensible using hundreds of plugins that it supports, which makes this tool overall quite powerful. And it's really easy to install and configure. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So I'm here on the official Jenkins website. What we have to do first is click on the download button here and download our Jenkins package. So if you notice, they have different uh, packages for the various operating systems. So if you're using Mac, you can install this one. And if you're on Windows, you can click on this to download that package. So I'm gonna go here and it will begin our download here. If you notice, it's roughly 100 MB. So once this is downloaded, we'll extract this and then install it in our local machine. So Jenkins has downloaded successfully and I extracted the zip package. And over here, you can see the executable file. So I'm gonna double click on this and then we'll click next, install it in whichever um, directory you want. I'll go with the basics here. Okay, so this is completely installed. I'm gonna click on finish. And if you notice, it's go, it opened up a new URL for me, which is this localhost 8080. And if you see this error, the site cannot be reached, just do a refresh. Some, uh, sometimes it doesn't really open, it takes a while. Okay, so once I refresh, there you go. It's saying it's trying to get Jenkins to work. So after that initial screen, you're gonna see this getting started screen. And what we need to do is first unlock Jenkins. So to do that, we simply have to put in the password that it provides us, which you can find by going to this path over here. So I'm going to access that and open it up in my separate window. Okay, so I just opened it up and this is the initial admin password that it provided me. I'm going to copy this and paste it over here. You might see some different path for you, um, but whatever it is, just go in there and then copy the administrator password and then paste it over here. I'm going to click continue. And then this is giving you some options on whichever plugins you want to install. You can do um, custom plugins or you can just go with the suggested one. In this scenario, I'm just going to click on the suggested one and it will install a bunch of plugins. So what the ones that we care about is Git and GitHub. That's, that's we're going to be using that when we will be pulling our changes from GitHub. So we'll wait for this to be installed and once this is installed, we'll come back. Okay, so all the plugins have been installed and now we have to create our first admin user. So you can create whichever user you want and give it some username and password. In my case, I'm just gonna do admin admin, even for my password, and then do the same thing for our full name. I can just do this admin admin, let's see. I'll click save and continue. And it will ask you where do you want to set your base URL. For me, this is fine. So I'm going to go with this one and do save and finish. Okay, so our Jenkins is ready. I'm going to click on start using Jenkins. And there you go. So we have our first Jenkins screen. And you're going to notice a bunch of things over here. Um, and you might see this notification over here, which will probably tell you that there is a new version. You may or may not see depending on whichever version you install. You can ignore this for now as we are just doing it locally. So we don't have to worry about that. And now we have our option to create a new job to start setting up a new project. So we will do that in our next video. But if you notice, that's how easy to just get your Jenkins installed and configure in our machine. In our next video, we will set up a new Jenkins job and integrate our test with it. At the same time, we will also install our JUnit reporter so that we can see our reporting in Jenkins. And this is also really easy to do. And they also provide you some nice documentation on how to integrate Jenkins with your test. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this. That's it for this video, folks. I will see you in the next one.